Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the A6 Dynablast. What's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. If you're new around here, I want you to smash that pink button down there and it says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things, including a link where you can get these, the A6 Dynablast. Now it's another shoe from A6 with the Flight Foam Blast midsole in it. Is it any good? Well in this video we're going to find out, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here is the Dynablast. Now this is the middle shoe in the Blast range of uh, shoes from Asics. Uh, you've got the Nova Blast and you've got the Road Blast. Now the Road Blast is like the cheap, uh, pure and simple running shoe that they've come out with. It's 80 pounds, which I think is brilliant for an Asics. Uh, it's got Flight Foam Blast in it, reasonable upper, reasonable outsole, and yeah, it does exactly what you want from a running shoe. Job done. Um, and I just think it offers fantastic value, 80 pounds for an A6 shoe. Then we've got the Nova Blast at the top, which is kind of split opinion from people. Uh, for me, it was a little bit unstable on those longer runs. I fatigue prone 80 in it. Um, it's quite a high stack height, and with the Flight Foam Blast, I found it sort of uh, collapsing on the inside, but other people have absolutely loved that shoe, and I can see why. It's a great shoe, so there's nothing, just because it doesn't necessarily work for me on some of those longer runs, it's still a great shoe. You get a nice energy return out of that Flight Foam Blast. And this guy sits in the middle of those. So it's a, you know, kind of, does a little bit of each, um, for something from each, sorry. So uh, let's start with the stats and features. This shoe is 110 pounds here in the UK. Uh, it's got an eight mil drop, I believe. Let me just check my notes. Yeah, no, 12 mil drop, sorry. Uh, it's 8.8 .8 ounces. Uh, you've got this knit upper, uh, which apparently increases support. You're gonna love this from A6. It's got a lacing system. Well, that's what all shoes have, don't it? And apparently that locks down the midfoot. Oh dear, okay, it's getting worse with this marketing talk. And then we've got the Flight Foam Blast, which is obviously soft, bouncy, and you get that great feel from the toe strike, um, a foot strike to your toe off. You've got midsole cutouts, I'll show you them in a minute, shaving a bit of weight off. Uh, you've got this AHA rubber, which I always pronounce wrong, uh, which is pretty uh, durable, it's on a lot of their shoes now. Um, I think that's about it. So, uh, actually, yeah, there are those cutouts. Um, to shave the weight. Now I clean these up because these got soaked and dirty the other day uh, on a 5k down the river. I got caught in the rain and it was disgusting. But these shoes really held up well, even with a knit upper um, in the wet, it wasn't too bad actually, to be fair to the shoe. So um, the attraction as well was good down the canal pass. So that's one positive for it. Firstly, let's get onto the fit as well actually. Now the, the Nova Blast, for me, comes up a little bit big. Now I'm a nine and a half UK pretty much in most of my shoes except for on running. Uh, but what I found with the Nova Blast, I was actually, it was actually almost too big, but I couldn't come down to a nine because it was just a little bit too small. Uh, where this shoe is actually a uh, different fitting to the Nova Blast. So whatever you are in the Nova Blast, I would maybe recommend you ordering that size and a size down just to try them um, to see what it's like uh, because it's, it's a little bit in between. And I've also find it a little bit narrower as well than an Overblast, uh, which is interesting. It reminds me of the Reebok Symmetros in terms of it feels a little bit longer. Uh, so that's the fit, so just bear that in mind. Um, the lacing system, which I think is brilliant from ASICS that they've mentioned it's got laces. Um, it's just traditional lacing ASICS, which gives you, yeah, okay, it gives you a nice midfoot lockdown, but it's it's laces. Uh, there's enough foam around the heel, around the tongue. Uh, they kind of got rid of some of those uh, really long tongues and it's just gone back to being normal. Um, the upper, this knit upper, it's not the most breathable in the world. I think the Nova Blast um, upper is more breathable. 
but it's definitely better than the Rode Blast. Uh, the Flight Phone Blast, okay, so the Flight Phone Blast is definitely a more stable platform. I'm probably not gonna see that too well. It's definitely a more stable platform than the Nova Blast because you haven't got as much of it, but it's not as firm as the Rode Blast. Um, so it's a kind of nice balance between the two. It, it was a less bouncy than I was expecting. I was expecting a springier ride from this shoe and I didn't really get that from it, uh, which was a little bit of a, okay. I think from the Nova Blast, when you run in that shoe, you do get that nice bounce from that Flight Phone Blast. I didn't really feel much of it from here. Um, I stepped on the gas and it was responsive-ish, but I still feel like the Nova Blast does give you a little bit more back than this. Um, I didn't really notice uh, the weight of the shoe at all. It say it's in line with most of the other shoes out there in that sort of daily trainer um, realm at the moment. I think 110 pounds is a lot of money for this shoe when you can get like the Beacon 3 for 100 quid and you can get the Propel 2, New Balance Propel 2 version, uh, version 2 uh, for under 100 pounds as an example. You can even get, you know, the Evo ride from ASICS under 100 pounds. Oh, it's a different shoe, different midsole, all that sort of stuff. Totally different drop, it's got 12 mil. The Evo ride's got like five mil, but that's under 100 pounds. So, you know, 110 pounds, but this shoe has just come out. So we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. So yeah, I mean, it's okay. I think it's one of these shoes that just is a bit like, mm, all right, I think you have uh, reasonable expectation, expectations. You you know, you've got the Nova Blast, which has got that sort of bounce and springiness and, and, and does all those cool things. And it was a little bit different when it came out with the Blast. This is definitely more stable, but it just kind of felt a bit vanilla. Um, I, I spoke about the Beacon and I spoke about the uh, Propel 2. I just think they're better shoes, actually. I think they give you a little bit more, especially the Propel 2 with the fuel cell, which is, again, a slightly softer midsole. Um, I just feel that gives you a little bit more sort of kick um, as you're sort of going along. There's nothing wrong with this shoe. You know, it's, a, it's an Asics uh, and it's better, definitely better than a Gel Nimbus 22, for example. It's gonna give you a much more exciting ride. But for me, I think with so many good daily trainers out there at the moment, it just feels a little bit, mm, could have been better.